sneak in there. Hold on a second. Still trying to get this sorted. Okay. I believe I have it right now. Basically, the goal of Evil Genius is world domination. It's a, a knockoff of, uh, in a sense, of um, all those spy movies from the 70s and 60s and all that, James Bond stuff. It's basically you're the bad guy from a James Bond movie. So basically, we have to get to the helipad too. are going to try to come and get me. It's good for now. Hi. 
actually perfect for that corduroy now though. accommodate them we can uh it'll cap out at five right now um i think 40 guys would be fine it goes up to 100 max for overall i believe i think i can have more than that i'm trying to remember it's been a while and so as you can see here here's our money storage the guy has a briefcase he's running over here and he's gonna deposit the money and and be able to get material to uh, build the, the corridor. running out with explosives and we have good guys on our island here right there we got some sailors but we're not doing anything illegal right now so they shouldn't be doing anything to us yet I need to be here and here's my main guy he's very short and and stout and, uh, I need to be here. world domination is his goal yeah. so he's a short man he has a short guy complex and he'll come over here and, and yes. watch the, the action the explosions Chief in here. Yes. Park them right here. Now, we want to put doors are an effective way to keep your base secure. Using door security settings, you can decide who can pass through them and who will be barred. Enemies might eventually break through doors, but the longer it takes them, the less time they will have to discover your evil secrets before they are recalled. Doors are an effective Use these buttons to quickly select the e Well you over by that. Beds. Object has been ordered. 
but that's good for now. Oh, and we need... Door there too. Important information will be relayed to you via the message bar and stored in the. We don't need to go back. So, we're in the process of building our barracks here. Unfortunately, our cache is still outside. Uh oh, we got some uh, basic soldiers coming to our base here. We do not like that. Yes, we're going to go over to our minion here. This is our super minion. At least, well, he's not super super, but he's yeah, a little bit better than a normal soldier. And so he's going to go over here, and he's going to kick some butt. I said it's a very hard, so I should get like a lot of guys attacking me and such. Have you ever heard of this game? Fun game. You just uh, have to remember one thing though. Um, it's a very long game. This game came out in 2003, I believe it was. But it's a long game. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use some cheats to make it not so long. So I completed this task. We're finishing up the the facade. Um, we unlocked a freezer, I believe. Yep, here the freezer. So we're gonna put the freezer. Oh crap! I didn't build it right. Okay, so we'll put it here. So this is where I'm gonna store all my bodies that I uh, create from killing the soldiers as they come to try to stop me. Start that and populate it as we go. This object will be purchased when a minion is available for duty. All construction workers are busy at the present time. Object purchase delayed. This object will be purchased when a minion is available for duty. All construction workers are busy at the present time. This, re this uh, game actually ate up a lot of my time back in, back when it was released, because I loved it so much. So much fun to play. I'm not getting crazy yet, because i got to complete the tasks that they're giving me. And here's my first task that I have to do. I need at least one bunker. Or bunk bed and one uh, locker. And I'm gonna have to construct a control room next. So this is gonna be my control room. Um, actually, let's, uh, let's do a corridor.